Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kat and today I am taking you to Key West and more specifically I'm taking you to my current favorite restaurant in Key West. It's actually not in Old Town Key West. It's actually on a private island called Sunset Keys. So let me take you there right now. So Sunset Keys is a private island off of Key West and there are only three ways to get on this island. So you can either book a stay with their cottages here or you can do a spa treatment as well with their hotel or you can make a reservation for dinner or lunch or breakfast. So we made lunch reservations here and your dining experience includes a boat ride. This is the boat you go on. The ride only lasts, I would say less than 10 minutes. So just enough time for you to have some, you know, ocean breeze through your hair and taking some pictures if you want to. And before you know it, you're on the island. So first things first, you need to make a reservation in advance and I would say the sooner the better because this is a really popular spot and it's really easy to make a reservation. You just go on their website and you don't need a credit card or anything. And just a little bonus tip as well, you can let them know that it's a special event like maybe you're celebrating an anniversary or if you are having a date night or something like that or some sort of celebration, you can let them know and they might just make it a little more special for you guys. So on the day of your dining reservation if you're driving you can park at the front street parking garage and they do validate your parking for up to four hours which i think is pretty good so you would get up to four hours of free parking at the front street garage it is also the closest parking garage to where you would check in on the google maps you will look for opal key resort and marina once you get to opal key resort and marina you will walk to where the boats are the marina and just go to where you would get on the boat and tell them your reservation name and they'll let you sit and it's first come first serve so once again if you want to get a good seat on the boat you can get there a little earlier they do have inside and outside seating but we prefer it outside for obvious reasons <laughs> you can get a really nice view of everything so once you arrive on the island you will be escorted to the hostess where you check in for your dining reservation so this is not really like a budget place as you can imagine but can I just tell you guys I think we spent the same amount here as we did at just a local open-air fishery place in Key Largo and that was a totally like plastic chairs just on the side of you know where they fish for seafood and it was like the same price and the, the experience was completely different so it just puts in perspective yes it is a more like swanky place it's you know it's really nice here but don't let that fool you you can still have a decent priced meal for the keys I would say my little tip here for you guys is if you are trying to to see something more budget friendly go for lunch um breakfast is okay but the breakfast menu is pretty light so you might still be hungry after you eat your breakfast but lunch is a sweet spot because they have a lot of good protein packed entrees here and the price is not too bad and of course dinner is the priciest and you can check out their dinner menu if you want to see that. But we really liked lunch here because this is where the sun hits the water just right. The colors are popping. Like, look at this. This is awesome, right? So we were looking at the burger as well. Um, it's not a super bad price for a burger with this view. So I got the Key West fish tacos. So this is grouper fish and it was tempura battered. So this was a more Japanese style fried fish and it was topped off with some slaw and jack cheese cheese tomato salsa on the side there was chipotle aioli sauce on it it was really good it was actually more filling than i thought it would be but i guess it's because grouper is a really meaty fish totally delicious i would recommend this my husband got the turkey avocado club so once again really filling because of you know all the protein and you can see it's packed with a lot of meat here so it was crispy apple wood smoked bacon they had swiss cheese on it there was roasted garlic aioli and it was just a toasted wheat berry bread so it's not like you know exceptional turkey club because it's, it's a turkey club but it was really good and for dessert we got the key lime pie yes we did the local key lime with a graham cracker crust and toasted meringue and just swizzled with some sauce and they got some fruit on the side for garnish really beautiful presentation here and so once again just a really awesome spot to have a beautiful beautiful lunch if you check 
check out their website, you will see that they made the list on so many charts, especially for romantic restaurants or most scenic restaurants, alfresco restaurants, or best overall restaurants. Once again, this is an exceptional place. We loved it. It was just a nice getaway to go to Key West, but you go on a boat away from all the tourists. Well, <laughs> the other tourists and you go on the private islands and you have this awesome view while you eat your food and it was just really really nice so i have some tips here if you are looking to come visit first of all make your reservations early in advance because it is a really busy place and once again if you are celebrating something special like an anniversary go ahead and let them know when you make a reservation you can do that on the phone but online as well there's a little place where you can add a note on there so we just told them that this was a date lunch for us and they put us at one of the best tables I actually think this was the best table honestly like I looked at the other tables but I really liked where ours was because it was under this palm tree and we had like the front row view of the ocean it was so nice and of course you can definitely sit inside with the AC but I mean you came all this way if you can totally try to eat outside because it's so much better outside just having the experience of eating under a palm tree basically on the beach it's really beautiful i would say though if you are planning on eating outside if you don't already have a sun hat go ahead and get a sun hat or some sort of hat because the shade does move depending on how long you stay there so you definitely don't want to get a sunburn when you're trying to eat your food so that's another tip i have for you and this dining experience is not like a dine and dash fast food this is definitely not a quick in and out place as it should be right like you just arrive and it's just so so relaxing like you are definitely on vacation time here so i would say expect at least two hours because you have to get on the boat you have to go to the island and go back and of course the ordering the food and just eating the food it's just going to take i would say around two hours depending on how fast you want to eat your food i guess but i would say at least two hours would be a really good time to spend here so when you get here just take a deep breath and relax and just relish in the fact that you're on a private island having an amazing meal with amazing views so there's one more thing i have to say is restaurant guests we are allowed to go to the bathroom of course and that's when you can kind of walk through the lobby area and kind of you know get a vibe for the hotel but the dining guests we are limited to just the restaurant area so just keep that in mind when you come here don't expect to be you know frolicking in the sand on the beach because you're just basically going to be at the restaurant and on the dock when my husband and i came for lunch i did notice a table where um, it seemed like it was a girl's trip they were having a lot of fun so this would be really fun for a girl's trip you can have a really fabulous lunch here it's also really romantic and i was reading a review where this guy proposed to his girlfriend here and i can totally see that you guys it is so romantic here especially i would say you know sunset or night time you can totally see that this is a romantic date night or you know a celebration so i hope this was helpful this was probably one of my favorite things to do in the florida keys the entire florida keys was just to come here if you have any questions let me know but if you liked it please give this a thumbs up and i will be sharing more of my tips here in the florida keys so if you want to see more please subscribe and stay tuned